Welcome to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi, your hostess for the night. I have Joe on camera, Tyler on camera, Kat here, Brian here. Everybody down here is so wonderful. If you ever want to do a show, I mean, it's a fantastic. Rather than channel surfing, you can just stay on Channel 5 or YouTube us and then just type in uh, Nutmeg TV. It's fantastic. So uh, I don't have a guest today, but I do have my new hair. Thank you, Gino, at the gallery. Now I wonder, now I don't, you know, wonder why people always, all my friends go there. Um, the color, the cut, it's unbelievable. But he did do this with a blow dryer for a long time. So I'm like, do I have to do that every time I take a shower? And he was like, yeah. So I'm like, ugh. So anyway, thank you, Gino. I, it's a, such a professional place. And for a hair salon, usually hair salons are in strip malls. It's like pizza place, hair salon, nails. Your handy nails, fancy nails. And then, you know, he's got a whole building. So Gino, thank you so much. I look gorgeous thanks to him. Oh, a little like Ann Curry, but that's okay. She's pretty. Mm. Um, so anyway, uh, my guest was going to be Bob Ross, you know, because he hasn't been on since the first episode. And I love him, but I dropped him off at Dick Flick the other day because I thought, you know what? We already had him on the show. Dick Flick went crazy. They were like, Dawn, thank you. I'm like, well, you can have him on loan. And... Um, you know, so I dropped him down at Dick Flick, so he's not on here today. And uh, yeah, actually, it's called Blick now. I don't know when they got rid of Dick, but when I moved to Farmington, it was called Dick Flick. And uh, I don't know what happened to Dick. They chopped it off. Like, you know, Lorraine about it. Good God. All right, so what we're going to do today is, um, see this chicken? I love chickens. People love chickens. It's crazy. And they like to put it in the kitchen when they're cooking chickens and cracking eggs to make dough and stuff, it's crazy. But anyway, in the back of my chicken, it is newspaper, like this. Ripped out of a, mo a magazine, book, you know, whatever you wanna do. I mean, if somebody gets mad at you for uh, ripping out a piece of paper, oh, did you rip that out of a book? Just be like, oh, no, no, no. I went through somebody's trash and found a few books. Um, so what you do is you mod podge, which is, Elmer's glue mixed with water, okay? It's pretty much the same thing as Mod Podge. And what you're gonna do is you're going to Mod Podge the print. Now, say you were doing a songbird painting. You could take some music, uh, rip out some music sheets from a music book that you don't use anymore, you don't care about, go to the thrift store, put the music sheets on the back. You know, I wouldn't put a rooster over music uh, things because these things, you know, just cause lots of noise issues but you could put a songbird over the music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this onto a large canvas, and what we're gonna do while this is drying is we're gonna whip up this. And we only have 24 minutes. How are we gonna do that? It's gonna be a miracle, oh my gosh. So we're gonna try. So I'm just gonna zip, zippity zap, okay? This painting right here that you can see is from a postcard somebody brought me. And they said, Dawn, can we whip up this? Yes. So first we're gonna Mod Podge for the chicken. We're gonna put it on this, so it's gonna be a larger chicken. The painting that we're gonna do next is gonna be of this, and it'll be the same size. And sorry if it's confusing, but this is so cool. You're just gonna love it. So quite frankly, we're gonna do a couple episodes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to Mod Podge the print onto the painting. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find some papers from a magazine or something like this, okay? And generally make it something that'll look interesting on the canvas. And then you're gonna take a brush and you're gonna dip it into the glue, whoops. Usually when you're painting, even, you know, I worked as a uh, college pro painter when I was at BU, and uh, you couldn't get this part of the brush right here where the silver or the gold is, could never get it. Uh, you weren't allowed to dip that into the paint. So I'm gonna Mod Podge this on, oops. And it's just glue. You know, people get nervous, just put that on there, okay? I'm trying to go as fast as I can. And you know, you might wanna use a bigger brush. Hold on, I'm gonna get this off the floor because in 23 minutes, um, Mod Podge might dry. So I just got some on the floor. So hold on a second, because I uh, respect Nutmeg TV. And I'm gonna get it off the floor, okay? I got it. I never get anything on anything. Is my thing still hooked up? I think it is. I'm pretty good at it. Okay, I'm doing good. So I got the Mod Podge. Now normally do this flat. Don't do it standing up like me. It's, it's ridiculous, that's why it's getting everywhere. 
So you're gonna mod podge this whole thing, and it dries fast, but by the time this dries, we're gonna be painting the next painting. And that is a painting from Barcelona, Spain. It's like a little window scene with a, uh, you know, shutters and some flowers growing there with a little fence, which is nice. I've never been to Barcelona, but I've been to Spain, uh, thanks to a nice friend of mine that sent me out there. Um, the weather's been gorgeous. I spent a ton of money at Home Depot, Lowe's, and I bought all these flowers. And my husband, he is, uh, you know, I told you, quiet guy, but he loves to grow pumpkins. And he's trying to win the Guinness Book of World Records, growing the largest pumpkin, not only in Connecticut, but in all 50 states. So he got his seeds in, they're very expensive. He was so excited, so he told me I was so not smart to plant my flowers because Tony said, not till May 2nd. So I planted everything in the ground, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cover them up with some burlap because $150, I'm not throwing that out, you know? So uh, it looks really nice. And then Eric Broker, he's doing my, um, my lampshades, my lamppost. I was calling it a telephone post. These people were looking at me like, what are you talking about, Dawn? I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I'm putting a telephone post right, in the, right on the end of the driveway with a lantern on top. And they're like, what? I wasn't thinking. It's a lamppost, much different. So I've got all this on. I don't think it's gonna pay, take 24 minutes. And this should be a smaller canvas. But you know, you can have a large rooster too. Step two is to stick this, hold on, I'm having a little clumsy moment here with my new hair. Okay, so we're gonna stick this onto here, okay? And that's gonna be gorgeous. Then I went to West Hartford to get my kids some new uh, batting stuff for baseball and softball. I go in to play it against sports. There's this kid, he goes, Don Nolan. I said, Matt Barga? He was a kid I had in sixth grade. He was a skateboard guy. Now he's a chef. I'm like, what would the chef be doing at a sports shop? So he says, no, Lane, Lane Raymond. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was a nanny, kind of, for Lane when he was one and two years old. He said he's living in Hartford now with his girlfriend. Hi, Lane. I couldn't believe it was him. So he was so smart when he was, a, well, he's still smart. It's unbelievable. But when he was one years old, oh my God, the stuff. So smart. So I love when you run into people you haven't seen in a while. And um, you're gonna try to pick papers that are gonna cover the entire canvas, okay? If you miss a couple spots, don't worry, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and I'm trying to pick pretty print, you know, stuff that's pretty. You don't want pictures, okay? I'll put that one there. Okay, and this is the funny part. People think that this isn't gonna happen. Now, uh, Mod Podge is a crafty kind of thing. I'm not a crafts person. Uh, you know, I and crafts don't mix. So when people say to me, do you want to go to paint night? Or do you want to go and make a Nantucket basket? No, thank you. Hmm. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to paint over this now. Now, you think that nothing uh, is going to work. Now, maybe this will take 24 minutes. But you know what? At least I have good hair. You can look at my hair the whole time I'm painting blue onto a canvas. How fun is that? I'm sure you've changed the channel by now. Oh. So here's what we're gonna do. Keep painting over it. Now, if you can, if you wanna do a few chickens at a time, then, <clears throat> excuse me, you gotta paint a few of these. That way, when you go and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna paint another chicken. That thing's sold fast. And I usually sell a chicken for about 125 to, you know, 100, 125, 150 depending on how big he is, it takes time. So you have to put into the fact, oh yeah, she just mod podged a bunch of crap on the background and it's like not true. Part of the process is to make the whole thing. So this is part of your hourly rate when you're an artist like me. You know, you can't just say, oh yeah, I just you know whipped up some glue on that, that's not a big deal. Uh, so it's so fun. Ah. Um, oh. I went out to four with my friend Heather. Oh, God, I get so nervous every time because she dresses so great. And you know, we're such tight friends, but she's never come into my house. It's not because I won't let her. It's because I won't let her. Oh, 
Can you believe it? She's an interior decorator. Like, I'm really going to let her in the house. It's going to be a disaster. So she's like, I really don't. I love you. I don't judge. I'm like, I know. You're the nicest person on the planet. But still, I can't. It's just so bad. You got to give me, like, at least another year. Hi, Heather. Maybe next week you can come over. I'll put everything in the closet or the basement. Uh, anyway, it's just you have a knack for it. People used to get excited. Oh, Dawn's having a party. Oh, we can't wait. I mean, her house is probably going to be amazing. And they come in and they're like, oh, God. What does she have, lawn furniture over there in the corner for the uh, living room set? Uh, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We'll keep going. You know, this is fun for a 20-minute uh, thing because I'm getting to know you a little bit better. Um, during the summer, I'm now open a little bit more. If, if it's not sticking, it needs more Mod Podge underneath. And this is a big canvas. Uh, again, it's just glue with water. Uh, I got to know uh, Gino doing my hair yesterday. What a, what a nice guy he is. And uh, jeepers, what a great business. You know, I love that. I love when people do really well. I think it's a great sign of the times, and it's fun. Uh, you know, I try every day. You just got to try hard. That's all. That's what Jay Lowe said about A-Rod. She's like, I've never met anybody that tried harder in my whole life. <laughs> I'm like, good God, I wouldn't want to try that hard, you know? Uh, but that's cool because, you know, that's what you want to do. Try the best. Sometimes you try the best and you get the worst luck and, you know, nothing good happens. And then people give up. That's when it's tough. So, uh, yes, shout out to my kids at Jamoki Academy in Hartford. Hi, guys. Told you I had a TV show. Mm -hmm. So they are great kids. Uh, love it there. Thanks, Diane Cloud. Thanks, everybody, for hooking me up with Jamoki. It's a lot of fun. I'm just finishing off the year, loving it. Hanging the kids' work. I am a art teacher by trade, because remember I told you, my dad told me that I should get a art education degree as well as the painting. And I said, really? And then I did the art education, and I ended up loving kids, you know, just loving it. So put this stuff on. Um, if you get a wrinkle like this, see this wrinkle? Doesn't it look so great? And I'll show you. On the, I think we're going to take 24 minutes painting on, uh, you know, glue onto canvas. Wow, uh, how exciting! I can't believe it. Um, anyhow, when you get a wrinkle like this, I'm going to show you sideways. It's a wrinkle of this, and it looks so cool. It makes it look old, you know. Um, I was going down the street the other day where my lovely friend Joanne lives, and it's like gorgeous historic Farmington. And, uh, you know, I won't tell you where she lives because she's so gorgeous. We got stalking her. Uh, just kidding, Joanne. But anyway, she, I was going on her street, and I'm like, these houses are so nice. And my kid's like, Mom, these things are old. I'm like, James, these houses are worth, like, millions of dollars. And he says, uh, why do people want old? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's something about it. My parents' home, it's like 1710. Uh, I don't like old. I, I think I would like new. New, small, with wheels. It's called an RV, a trailer, if you want to call it that. Uh, yeah, I'm probably the only person in the Farmington Valley that wants to send their kid to trade school and live in an RV or a trailer park. Can you believe it? I'm so out of it. People think I'm crazy. They must. They must be like, what is she thinking? But you know, I just like it. I'm not talking the trashiest one around. I, I want to go to a nice one, believe me. There's a reason why people do 55 years and older, and it's not because they hate kids. People assume that. Oh, they don't like the grandparents, the grandkids, because it's 55. It's like, no, it has nothing to do that with that. You know, there's probably all these secrets about being oh, 55 and older that I have like six years to find out. No, wait. Can't do math. Kochi's coming on. Uh, we picked a date, June 7th, so 6th, June 6th, Kochi's coming on, I can't even wait, so I said to Kochi, uh, can you do a date in June? He goes, yeah, when do you film? I said, Thursday, it's June. He goes, all right, well, uh, playoffs, hockey, of course, uh, playoffs are June 5th or whatever, so we got to do June 6th, so I'm like, oh, 
All right, so he's coming on. We can't wait. And uh, but anyway, he knew out of his head that June seventh, sixth was a Thursday. So that's kind of genius, I'd say. Uh, I'm not that type. I can't do math at all. I asked him about what uh, what subjects he was good in. I find it very interesting when people say they were good at something or not. You know. I find it very interesting when people are really smart with both brain, left and right. Usually people are one or the other. If you're both, sometimes it can be messed up for you. It's almost too much to handle. You know what I mean? It's like, remember, I was telling somebody, I think it was true, my mom has to verify this, but when I was in first grade, they were like, she's, she's a genius. And they moved me, they told my mother, she is a genius. They moved me to second grade, or was it second or third? I think it was first to second. Like right away, she's a genius, she doesn't belong. They moved me to second grade, and then like two weeks into it, they were like, nah, huh. back I go. I mean, can you imagine how traumatic? I don't think I had a therapist for that, but I've had therapists for other problems. <laughs> sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, organic healing like Cat likes. You know, you don't need all this stuff. But hey, the chiropractor, Trish Cosentino, fixed my back. People always say, oh, that's a bunch of baloney, those chiropractors. Huh. I was literally, when I was having my hair done by Gino, I said, Gino, I'm so sorry. I was like literally on painkillers when you did my color. He's like, what? I'm like, I had such back pain. So I mean, I, it was awful. And I don't like doing stuff like that. But anyway, I could not get through that pain. So Trish Cosentino, thank you. Fantastic chiropractor over on Forest Glen. Unbelievable. So this is all done, OK? It doesn't have to be perfect, OK? This is going to dry. It's got wrinkles everywhere, sort of like mine. But I'm going to give uh, anybody that wants to make me look gorgeous, like my hair, uh, plastic surgeon, um, come into my shop and pick whatever you want. And you can just go crazy here, because I need some work. So you just let it dry, OK? And then when it's dry, you're going to do your, your, your uh, drawing of your chicken over it. So we're just going to sketch the chicken right on top. This would be a big chicken, OK? As my friend Tom always says on Facebook, nice cock, Dawn. Uh, you know, that's Tom. So I love Tom. Hi, Tom. So this is a beautiful rooster. And you know, the female birds, as we all know, uh, you know, hey, it's like the Me Too movement. Just deal with it. The guy is much more beautiful in the bird world than the female. I don't know about flamingos. Maybe they're both pink. So in the guy's term, maybe they don't like me in pink. So we're going to start this one. We might only get the drawing done, but that's OK. One of my seniors brought this in. Oh. Dawn, can we paint this? And I'm like, whoa, honey, that's heavy stuff. This is not easy. Then I thought, oh, yeah, it is. Of course it is. <laughs> Everything's easy for me because you just have to break it down. So the first thing I said is, why would I want to paint two windows that look exactly the same? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. Either I'm going to pick the one with the roses or the one with the, um, what are they called? Planters. Yes. OK, so I decided the roses, planters, roses, whatever one you want to do. We're going to sketch it. It's so easy. And then it's going to look like this. And then you can put a beautiful frame around that, uh, you know, put that up on the wall, uh, put it in a bathroom that looks nice. It's kind of fresh. It's like, a, you know, some glade, you know, flowers going. So we're going to draw that. So I'm going to show you how to draw this. All you're going to do is a window. Now, a window, and my windows on my house are going to have these very soon, and my lamppost. Um, so we're going to do the window. And all it is, I hope you can see. Oh, yeah, he's got the camera here. Thank you, Joe. So the window is, and I, I block it a lot, so I'm going under here. We're going to put the window. We're not centering it. I don't like centered. Sometimes I do. Oh, my gosh. I'm going over like this. Oh, and we're having Easter's coming. We're having it at the Hotel Northampton. I can't believe it. Uh, so the Hotel Northampton's great. We're going to put some shutters on this uh, thing. So you put a shutter. It's not going to be as big as the window, but it goes over a lot. You can make your shutters have those. You know, I love those shutters that have like moons in them like this. They have like, you know, or trees. You know, they're gorgeous. And, uh, you know, just think how nice. Now, if you want something going on inside the window, I mean, we could go crazy with that, let me tell you. Oh, uh, you know. 
uh, depending on what time of day it is, you could go nuts with what's in there. Um, we're gonna put these things. If you put those, they're gonna go the same all the way down. And they kinda have to be perfect. So if you're gonna do those things, they gotta be perfect. Okay, those are those little slats that go into the um, thing. Um, we're gonna go faster, okay, because we're moving along here. And I wanna get some paint on this thing. Uh, so here, across here, we're gonna go there. Um, there's a dome over here, okay? It's sort of like when Joanne and I did the uh, Irish store. Joanne's in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, Fort Lauderdale. So excited for you, Joanne. Uh, I bet she's having a ball. So there's that thing, like the Irish store, and then there's a thing in the middle, and it kind of does go out like the Irish store did, okay? But there's a little bit more wavy stuff going on. Um, then over here, you have a thing going down in the middle of it. And then over here, you have a fence that goes right here, and it goes like the letter C, okay, but almost not that. And then it goes straight, and then it goes a backwards C. And then down, 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 down. Dawn, I'm good. Ha! Dawn. Okay, then you want to make this look like a stone wall. So just draw it all in. And it has vines growing everywhere. So just put those in. You don't even have to be looking. Okay, and then this is a big rose bush coming out everywhere. Okay, isn't it so fun? It's a, you know, just so de-stress. It's so fun. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint it. So fun. The background, it's a little bit, oh, what am I doing? I don't even need the picture anymore. I just use mine. I do need this a little though, because this is still better than mine. So again, my palette is still here. I mean, I don't know how much time we have left, but I bet you we have about seven minutes. I mean, maybe, I, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Let's go in and we're gonna do this. One of the reasons why I love to use this thing here here we go. One of the reasons why I like to use one brush. I love using one brush. I'm gonna do this. I love using one brush and I'm making this stone colored background. Okay, I'm doing this stone colored background so it's gonna look like a stone building. And you know, if it turns different colors while you're going, sorry, itchy, <laughs> uh, you're gonna move this around. And this is sort of the stony wall of the background. Okay, now we're gonna whip this, whip, whip this up. Uh, this is still the same building. Okay, it looks like there's a little yellow in here. Imagine if I whipped this up and it was done and then we could do the chicken in the last minute. <laughs> I'm fast, I'm fast, I'm fast, I know it. Ooh, that doesn't look so good. Um, all we do for that is we just go over it. It's not a big deal. But while that's drying, I'm gonna put it in my black window. So this is black, okay? And you're gonna put in this black like this. And you can have whatever color shutters you want. You don't have to have the green that I have. So we're gonna throw in that, okay? And I know yours is not gonna be as quick as mine, but I, you know, just bear with me. One of the reasons why I use one brush is because I can bang things out so fast. Instead of switching brushes every minute, uh, I don't like to do that. So I can just figure out how to make this brush work for the whole thing. So I'm gonna put this in. Okay, I can do my fence if I want, but you know, you might wanna save that for later. Plus, sometimes you're not gonna see the whole fence. You're just gonna see parts, okay? Um, so then you're gonna have these vines growing everywhere with um, you know, leaves and things on them, and those, those are kind of going around everywhere. I'm just putting them on. Um, I'm gonna do shutters. I'm gonna do Tiffany blue shutters, because that's what I want my husband to paint my front door. Tiffany blue tone with a black, no, yeah, with black shutter, no, did I want black shutters and a Tiffany blue door? Maybe it's too cheesy. I had these new lanterns put up. All right, I'm doing the Tiffany blue door, uh, I mean shutters. So I'm gonna see, it might look too cheesy, but that's all right. We're in Barcelona, baby. Now we're in, uh, we've, we've gone to Cape May all of a sudden, we've moved. So we're not in Barcelona anymore, but you know, you can do what you want. If it looks terrible, I'll switch it later. You know, I don't get that concerned about it, okay? Yeah, maybe I'll switch it. I don't like it. I should have gone with the picture. So we're going over that, okay. They are now green again. Okay, so again, if you mess up, you can always change it, it doesn't matter. Um, these vines, they're gonna be growing all over the um, building, okay? And you can see, uh, I'm using the same brush, but I can switch. So if I'm making vines going all over the tree, I'm just gonna go around and swoop around like this because there's like green vines going everywhere, okay? And they're coming down here. And then another thing you can do, watch this. This is amazing. You can go in the front and there's a lot of bushes, okay? 
So in the front, they're rose bushes. So you can go ahead and put some green in the front. Leave some places for white, okay? Because that's gonna be where you put your rose in. Okay, so we're gonna put that, okay? And this is so fast and fun. And you know, I'm rushing, I know it. I'm really rushing. But I really love to rush sometimes uh, when I grocery shop, good God. That's a matter of, that's a crazy one when I'm grocery shopping, but we've got three minutes, that's a lot of time. We've got one minute left. So um, we've got one minute left. You know, you wanna, you wanna do a, a couple different greens, okay? So I'm gonna be doing this, okay? I'm gonna be putting some different colors here, okay? Different colored greens. You don't want the same color green. You wanna be able to mix it up, see? Because you wanna be able to, I can hear, okay. I'm gonna put in different colors of, of, of green, okay? So it looks like, okay, I got it. All right, I got, okay, 30 seconds left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in these rose bushes and I'm gonna throw them in like this. Now, if it moves like that, it's okay, because it's gonna look great. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these spots to sort of fill up your thing. Now, next time you come back, listen to this, it's gonna be great. We are gonna have this painting and we're gonna finish it. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna do our chicken. And it's gonna be so great. So while I'm babbling on, thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited. Anybody that would like to come on the show, we would love it. Uh, I'm making a couple roses going around on these, uh, you know, they're kind of going on these vines, okay? And this is a nice, cute painting that you could uh, certainly get a little bit of money for, hang on your wall, put it in your closet, hang it in a bathroom, it's nice and fresh. And we'll see you next time on the Crack of Dawn. Uh, Inside Edition and uh, John Olivier, we will see you next time you come in from uh, New York City, but you'll be on. So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna put a couple of rose bushes over here, you know, maybe a couple going over there, a couple here and there, maybe.